Hi everyone. Today I'm at the Scott location and I'm doing pollinator surveys. Pollinators are very important for agricultural production, but in recent years, pollinator populations have been in decline, which is largely attributed to habitat loss. Uh, fortunately, perennial forages offer excellent habitat for pollinators as they offer a very diverse floral resources. Uh, so in this study, we've included a pollinator mixture, which is this here beside me. Um, and this mixture includes a lot of forage legumes that are very attractive to pollinators. Uh, so we've seeded equal proportions of a salt tolerant alfalfa, yellow sweet clover, sandfoin, bird's foot trefoil. We included some hybrid wheatgrass to put some grass species in there. And then we also added in some milkweed. Um, so the reason we wanted to look at this is because a lot of forage legumes don't have a uh, very high salinity tolerance. Um, but we wanted to look at whether or not there would be a pollinator mixture available to seed in saline areas to increase the amount of habitat in our prairie landscape for pollinators. Uh, so, so far what I've noticed in the plots at each of the sites is that at the more saline site, which is the clavette site, I'm really only seeing the alfalfa and the sweet clover establish and not many of the other species. Um, of course, sandpoint and bird's foot trefoil have pretty much no salinity tolerance, so they haven't established at that site. Um, but at the lesser saline site, which is Scott, where I am today, um, I'm seeing the alfalfa, sweet clover, some sandpoint, and some bird's foot trefoil. Um, so all of the species have established here. Um, unfortunately, the milkweed didn't germinate or establish at any of the sites, um, but, but we did get establishment of everything else here at the Scott site. Um, so when doing these pollinator surveys, I have noticed that there are more bees in the, uh, in the pollinator mixture plots compared to the other plots. Um, so to do those surveys, I simply walk along the plots and record the number of bees that I'm finding in the plots and then I take notes on which flowers they're landing on. Um, I've noticed in particular they really like the sweet clover flowers. I see them on those a lot, um, but I have seen them on the alfalfa and the sandfoin as well. Um, so I'm going to keep doing these pollinator surveys and I'll share the results with you guys at the end of the season and hopefully we can find a, a pollinator mixture that we can seed in saline areas to increase the amount of habitat for pollinators in Saskatchewan. Thanks for watching.